crochet. Um, I've been doing a lot of crochet lately. Been getting my Amazon orders out and uh, creating uh, the doll outfit patterns that I create. And um, I just got my line brand packages in the mail today. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I love getting my packages in the mail. But here's one of them right here. This is my line brand. And I'll show you what I have. This was the sale. I believe it was the buy one, get one free. I think is what it was. And so the yarn was $3.99. And it came with this stuff, some papers. There's my order, and it came with this. Now, this is really neat um, for someone who knits, but it came with this real nice book of patterns right here that I thought was really cool. There you go. Nice little glossy book, really nice. I don't knit, but I will save this and um, maybe give this in one of my giveaways um, because I know there are a lot of knitters out there. So I'm going to hold on to that and put this with some yarn that I've got put back here. Um, I'm waiting when I get to, I have a giveaway. I have some yarn back here waiting to when I reach that 1K. Um, I'm getting close. <laughs> and so anyway, so I've got some yarn and stuff put back. Okay, now uh, the yarn that I got from Line Brand. I... I'm trying the cupcake out. And let's see, I'm pretty sure this was $3.99. I have never uh, done the cupcake, so this is new to me. I thought I might make some shawls or something like that with it. Um, some cowls or, you know, infinity scarves. I don't know, something. Something really cute. But they had to buy one, get one free. And they was $3.99. So for $4, I got two of these. And the color, the name on this one is called Moody Blue. That's a good name for that. And it is three light, which I love three light. Matter of fact, I did not even know that I would like three light until um, I got this YouTube channel and really started watching a lot of people's videos and a lot of people were do, working with the three light and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to try it. And then I bought some of the Premier DK and I fell in love with it. I made my first shawl with it from Bag O'Day and I mean, I was a fan and so I'm still a big fan. And so if you haven't tried the three light, I think you'll really enjoy it. I, I think what I like about it so much is that the three weight, the fabric seems to drape more. And I like that feeling that it has, that lightweight. Anyway, so uh, it's Moody Blue, it's three light, and there is 590 yards in this. But here's an idea of the color. It looks like it has like a green, a I don't even know, a, a real light mustard color, uh, lavender, several shades of blue, and then it starts back green again. But there it is right there, if you can kind of see those colors. That's going to be really pretty. Um, and so, like I said, I got two of those. Okay, then my next one that I bought, this is, colors are a little funky, <laughs> but... Um, I like it, it's just a little funky. But it's called um, Happy Dance. <laughs> That's a good name for it. Uh, 590 yards. And so here it is. And it looks like it's got yellow, uh, like a pea green, some gray maybe. Mm, what is this one? Some white, mint green, some turquoise green, lime green a rust, some orange, but yeah, it's kind of crazy colors. And then here's the sides you can kind of see. But yeah, this is gonna be funky. <laughs> so I got two of those, but I liked it online, so I thought I'd try it. So whatever it's gonna be, it'll be pretty, I guess. <laughs> It's definitely different than my my taste. I mean, you guys probably won't think it's funky, but as you can see behind me and the things that I show off, 
I normally don't really go quite those colors. <laughs> but I chose it because I wanted to try something different. Okay, now here's two more. My gosh, this one is like really huge. This color is called Sandcastle. And I got two of these. And it, I don't know what happened to this one, but it's really huge. But there it is. And it has the lime green, a pea green, off-white, a tan, and like three shades of some more green. But there it is from the side view. You can see those colors. This is really pretty. I like this. And I don't have anything that personally that I've made that's, you know, the greens like this. Now, I did make me over the summer a purse that is green and turquoise put together. Um, but this is, that's a purse, you know, this is something that would actually be worn. And so, uh, I don't have anything like that. So, that's pretty. And then my last one of the, now that I see how good these are now, I wish I'd bought more of the buy one, get one free now that I see them in person. Um, okay, this one is, they're all 590 yards, by the way. This one is called Sunny Day. Just kind of makes you want to break out into a song. This is kind of retro looking to me. I like it. But here's the colors on it. And it looks like it's the rust, a beige, off-white, a yellow and gold, an orange. So there's the colors. Yeah. It's called Cupcake. So that was my line, one of my line brands. I have another one too. I'm pretty excited about these colors. Um, some of them, especially these two right here, they look really summery and spring and stuff. So that'd be really good. And this and this one here, it can kind of go both ways, I think. Spring and summer and even fall and stuff. So this one probably can be more of an all season, I would think. And then I just don't know about the funky color one. I don't know. It's just different. Um, but that was my buy one, get one free deal that they had. Okay, now, let's see, let me put this free pattern in there. That was a nice little pattern, but could be it. Okay, my other one was a buy two, get one free. And I didn't really take too much of advantage of that. Um, because it really wasn't anything I wanted to try, but they did have something that I'm needing for the season of the granny challenge. And so I'll show you that in just a second. It did come with this real nice glossy pattern book and it's crochet. Um, it says four easy ponchos. And I guess these are the materials that you would be using for this poncho or for the ponchos. And I've kind of looked at it. This really is nice. I didn't, I've ordered from Line Brand several times and I never got a nice glossy crochet or even knit or something pattern book, you know, with my order. So I'm really tickled over this one. And it makes a child size too. So that's pretty cool. A uh, child size three to seven. And then the, also a tween to a teen, eight to 14. Pretty cool. Um, and then it has the fun fur on it. I've never worked with fun fur. So anyway, I was pretty excited to get this one because this one is something that I can use. So what I did get, it was buy two, get one free. And so I'm trying to see exactly how that worked. Um, it doesn't say exactly what I paid for it. It just says three, quantity three, price $5.33. And I'm thinking maybe like with all the discount that maybe that's what it ended up being per row. I don't really know. Okay, so I ordered a three pack of this right here. This is the Comfy Cotton. And I may or may not need all of these colors. All three, I mean, all these colors. I may not need all three of these. And if I don't, that's fine because I really like this yarn. So, um, 
I can always find something else to go with it. But this is called driftwood. And it's really pretty. Now, my honest review on this. I do like it. And when I work it up into the granny square, it is really nice. There are some issues with the yarn itself. And I can kind of tolerate it because I'm not making a big afghan or something, you know. But there is some where they tie the ends together in there quite a bit. And like I said, I'm okay with it because I'm just making this one project. And if I make anything else with this, it will probably be, you know, a scarf or something. It, it, it wouldn't be anything like a big afghan or something. So I can kind of deal with that. So just be aware that if you do have this, and now that was only with my one row, that's, or whatever you want to call this, ball cake, my one cake. It doesn't mean that they're all going to be like that, but that one that I'm working with now is like that. So just be aware that it does have quite a few of that where you it's cut and they tied it together. And I don't like working with that, so I always just cut, cut it off and then just, attach it and then I have to weave in the ends and stuff you know because you can't really crochet over the ends when you're doing a granny square so I always have to tie it in a knot and we weave, weave it in and like I said it's not really that bad I just want you to be aware of it that it's it does do that <laughs> so I don't mean to discourage anybody from it because I really do like the yarn I just wouldn't want to have to do a big project with it necessarily but I am in love with it. So I bought three more of these because it was buy two, get one free. And I'll show you what I am working or my granny square with it so far. This is my little bicycle bag that I've got it in for right now. This is from Joann's. And let's see, the hook that I'm using is a J hook. Just a simple little J hook. Um, This is how much yarn I have left in the one that I'm working with. Um, I was going to say, if I can see, if there is one on here, a split, I could show you. Um, like I said, it's really not that bad. You just got to be aware that it is going to be in there. A few times like just looking at this and I'm not fixing to unwind this so <laughs> we this is what we got okay and I have been weaving them in but I do have maybe one or two that I haven't got to yet and I'll show you what I'm talking about about how far away they are okay let's see where I'm at okay no I have not weaved them in yet I've only weaved one in so, on my back side, I'll show you. I've got one, two, three, four. Looks like four. Let's get this yarn out of, out of my way. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, here it is, what I've got so far. And it really is pretty. Look at those colors. And it's, you can see how it drapes. It's just, oh my gosh. Look at that. It's just really nice. Okay, here's the back side that I'm talking about. You can see where my strings are. Right there, there's one, two, three, see, and then there's four. That's what I'm talking about. So about that many rows from each other is how often that I get them. And I'm pretty sure I probably weaved in one, um, but that's it. So, yeah. So, I do like it. So, I will show this um, when I'm done with it. I'm not going to say what I'm making because, I don't know, I'm kind of shy about it. What if I make it, uh, or I'm attempting to make it and it don't come out right, you know? So, I don't know. I guess when it, if it ends up being a, a failure, then I will say this is... You know, on March 18th, I'll say this is what I was trying to make. Um, 
but this is not what I got. <laughs> I may do something like that. Um, but that's, that's what I'm at right now. And uh, this is not my normal hook that I use. I use some that are a lot softer on my hands. But this project I take in the car with me when I go places. And so um, my other hooks are pretty well already to end with other projects. And so this is like a backup, you know. So if I lose it, it's not that big of a deal. It's a little bit of a deal, but not that big of a deal. Anyway, so that's what I'm, why I had to get this yarn, why I was so excited that it was buy two, get one free. Felt like I got a really good deal, you know. Okay, then my daughter, she is working on one as well. And she, if you've heard some, read, I mean, listen to some of my other videos, she is new to crochet. And she came over, I guess, probably a couple weeks ago, and I showed her how to make a granny square. I got her started on it. I told her, I said, all you got to do is go home and just crochet down the runway, then uh, do your corners, the uh, three, chain two, three, and then on your runways, just do uh, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, chain one, and just keep doing that repetitiveness all the way around. And then, you know, when she gets to the end, now, I don't know if, if you guys do this, but when I get to the end of mine, I slip stitch into the top of the beginning of the top chain two, and then I slip stitch into the next stitch, and then I slip stitch into that chain two space, and then I chain three. Now, I don't know if you guys do yours that way, but that's the way that I do mine. Anyway, so I got started on it, and she should just be able to just go with that pattern. Um, here is hers. Hers is really pretty, especially when it's being worked up. It is so much prettier than the package here. It's called Cha La Cha Cha C H A I T Cha. I don't know latte. Anyway, here it is. Hers has some peach color and stuff in it, but it really is pretty in person. I'm like, man, I might should have got that one. I really like it. Um, but these are, like I said, they're comfy cotton. They are a three lightweight, 392 yards. And it even has a little picture on there that, said, that shows that one of these makes a scarf. So that's not bad. So maybe what I do if I have an extra one left over. But like I said, I don't really know how much I'm going to need. So, I um, Anyway, okay, that, now that that's done, let's get the yarn out of the way. I was going to show you what I've got done. Um, the, Co the Fiber Flux Jennifer has a Copenhagen cowl that I like a lot. And I made one, and I wore it to church Sunday. And I used my um, Lether Company Wonderland yarn. I've already got it, what I had put up already, so... But I made me a real pretty cowl, and um, I'll try to insert it into the video here so that you can see the scarf, I mean, the cowl that I made with it. Well, I got another outfit that I pulled out of my closet. I was like, oh, man, I need a cowl with that one, too, because Jennifer's, the pattern that she did for that is so easy, and I just fell in love with it. Well, my Knit Picks yarn are here. My uh, outfit that I'm wearing is like a plum color, which some of these colors right here will be perfect for it. So I'm going to make one with this. And whenever I do, I'll show it to you. This is a uh, Iran Heavy Worsted Weight 100% Superwash Merino. And it may or may not come out the way I want. I don't know because the one that you're supposed to use and that I did use was, was like sock yarn. And this is not sock yarn, but the colors are perfect for my outfit. So I'm gonna try this and see what I can come up with um, and make it work. I may have to go smaller, use less stitches, something, I don't know. But when I get this finished, I'll let you guys know. But it's from Knit Picks and called Muse. Hand, impulse, hand painted, and muse, there it is. There's the name of it. 
and it's just it's really nice and so i'm excited about getting to do that so i've got that set up in my living room where i do my work and um that's pulled up there so okay now i created three patterns this week for my dolls and um i want to show those to you i know three <laughs> that's a lot but here's one of them this was my or is the springtime outfit she's got the little flowers her shoes have a little flower and um so that one is on my blog already the adoringdollclothes.com uh, all my patterns are $1.99 unless you buy a group of them you know of sets and then of course they're a tad bit higher but still discounted anyway so that's the springtime dress that I created this week and the one that I just released today is called the uh, red flower dress and here it is and here's her little shoes her little headband it's got the flower so you may want to make that one and then this one I haven't released yet but because it's still at the testers but um, this is called the destiny the destiny panda gown and so and here it is now I didn't really make any shoes with it I just felt like the outfit didn't really need it so but there she is right there you can see her little braid little ribbons for her hair and stuff but that's the panda and then dress and then here's the back and they all button in the back except for the springtime dress and it, it is a slip on but anyway there there's this one right here <laughs> so she will probably be released tomorrow see tomorrow's thursday either thursday or friday so be looking out for her or for the panda gown and i do plan on making some more gowns i do have the one pajama the baby doll pajama set now i think that may be the only pajamas i have on my website um yeah i need more gowns so if you got any ideas i would love to create this use the same pattern design because i like this long gown and it was a lot of fun to make but maybe do something different other colors and do something different besides having the panda face on it maybe do something different i don't know if you got any ideas you can leave them in the comment for uh for me and i'll see what i can come up with but i really like the gown and i think that the um the grandmothers and the mothers and the aunts and everybody that's out there crocheting for their daughters and granddaughters and nieces and all this stuff that they're going to want more gowns that's one thing that i do lack is a variety of gowns so i gotta work on that <laughs> um okay well that's all that i have for today i just want to say thank you to each and every one of you to all my subscribers my um subscribers uh, is going up and I thank you, and I'm so glad you all like the content that I give. And um, just please like, share, subscribe, tap the bell, and that way you'll always be notified whenever I put out a video. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.